Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of the Amtrak Furry Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we acquired the Amtrak Genesis diesels, as well as, well, I think I already mentioned that in another episode, but we basically did some track work around, well, Java Bird to make all of our trains go a little more faster. And hopefully, in this episode, we can finally take care of some other stuff that's been need to be done on this railroad for a while now. Most of our express trains now have much more modern motive power, which means they will basically be a lot more efficient. All of the freight trains are still traveling to their respective destinations and making some sort of a profit. Although I've been thinking that I could provide a much faster shortcut. I mean, sure, it would probably be a shorter to use this, to use this track, but I'm curious if I'm able to basically create a shortcut between this bridge overpass over to that area over there. I'll probably might have to build a separate bridge, so it would basically not to interfere with the four track line here. Let's just try this out and see what happens. Ooh, that steep is a that track is a little too steep. Hmm, guess I'll have to basically move this track over this bridge in order to get some room. Shouldn't be too difficult. Just simply deleting these tracks and try not to delete any of the mainline track, otherwise my trains will get stuck in the middle of nowhere wondering where to go. And like that, I deleted a piece of the mainline. Remove some of these signals. And then just try to basically bridge over the river here. And then just build a new switch to connect this section to the other sections of the track. Not perfect, but at least it works. Just need to now set up some new signals to, to make sure all the trains know where they're supposed to go. Now, let's see if we can basically build a switch from this mainline track. First and foremost, it needs to be straight as it exits this track. Which is not going to look good on this because of its curvature, I think. Eh, it looks okay. I think. I'm not so sure. to see if this new track will work. Because if it does, then it makes everything so much, it will make everything so much easier. Though, 
I have to get rid of this bridge. Make it into an embankment instead. Then connect that section. Let's see. To that section, and then finally connect all the sections together. Let's see, any changes with the roots? No. Trains are still using this section of the line because it's a lot more faster. Though, what could ha what would happen if I removed two of these sections? Would trains still go through this way? I'll need to try something like that right now. Let's see. Well, it's not working as I was expecting it to, but, however, I just realized that I could just simply reroute trains that are heading towards this direction and just leave the tracks as it is. Train 35 has no path, and that's Express Train D between Leamington and Woodsburg. Ah, this is one of the Heritage Express trains, I believe. No, it's my amp it's one of the Genesis trains getting stuck. Well, I did need to modify these crossovers anyway to fit the new equipment. It's a bit of a tight squeeze at 37 miles an hour on these switches, but it should allow all trains to easily access this station and limit it. And then just turn this train around, and it should be good to go. Hmm. Let me see, what are the... Which trains are carrying... What trains are carrying what through the station at through the station that's heading for the other side of the area? Wait, why is this train a fruit on this line? It's not supposed to. And great. Now we got a junction. Do a double slip switch glitch just to get the trains moving again. Though, I think I could reroute one of the freight trains to go this way instead. And then back the other way. There we go. Refined oil will go will continue this track because it's going to that area. Let's see. Machinery is okay. Tools? Uh, that's still okay. Let me see. What about this train of water? It's obviously taking it to the fruit juice factory, so it doesn't need that. What about this train of tobacco leaves? Oh, most definitely going this way, but I gotta make sure the signals on the way to my destination are set for this track instead. Uh, any other tra other trains that are going that way that I could use to bypass the station? Okay, trains are going to the right or okay, I think. Well, 
No. This one will probably just take this track around the station. There we go. And to basically save time, I'm also going to set the freight train to travel on this line. There we go. Any other trains that I need to go through that area, that's going to cause a bit of a delay. The spray train and lumber is going on to that track, so it should be okay. Uh, hmm. I just think that after this point, it's mostly just making sure all the trains are set in the right directions. And, and trying out new lines that basically allow them to reach their destinations a lot better. Well, at least my train of foodstuffs is arriving at its destination. But, other than that, I think maybe this is a good ending point for today's episode. I don't know if it's been short or not, but I feel like this has been a pretty good stopping point. Oh, free train fuel. We can obviously get this freight train to go back through Longhorn. Get, through, get rid of these signals. Wait, not that, that's the mainline passenger track. Oh. It was heading for Blue Water City, was it? Uh. Let's see. Yeah. I guess it will have to stay as it is. Uh, other than that. I think we basically reached our ending point to this episode. So if you had enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!